What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Glass City. I got a little scenario, a little story for y'all. So basically, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, them 11s finna come out, them USC, Columbia 11s, or you wanna call them, the lows, you feel me? So I missed the raffle Monday because I was working late. So I said, let me make sure I get up tomorrow morning, Tuesday, because I only do it for two days, Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday here. So I get up, call my boy, my nigga, feel me, my nigga Caleb, he always on the line when I need him. He always there when I need him, you feel me? That's only nigga I fuck with when it comes to shit like that, because I know he got my back. Along with a couple of my other niggas, my nigga, I know my nigga B got me too, and I know my nigga Mac will have me when it comes down to it, when he ain't busy, you feel me? But the only niggas I go to, because they ain't tampon boys, you feel me? They don't act like fags and shit, so... Anyway, I call my boy up, I say, hey, you want to go help me with this ticket? No doubt, he always there, you feel me? Get, Hell yeah, I got you, you know? So, get to the mall, you know, this bitch is there, you feel me? Blah, 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 You know what I'm saying? We, we just hitting up all the little shoe stores. First, we go on Foot Locker, you know? I ran into a couple niggas I know, a couple workers, you feel me? We chopping it up, talking, running our mouth. Me and my boy fell off for the size nines, no problem, because he don't wear J's. Like I said before, he don't wear J's. I wear the J's, you feel me? So he helps me. That's my way of winning, having a better chance of winning the raffle without having to stand in line. But if I have to stand in line, I'll do that. I don't want to, though, and I don't want to pay, pay resale, because I'm going to want to resell you feel me? So we, 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 we hit Foot Locker, go to Champs. I see my dude Manny in there. We talking, having a good time, chopping it up. I fill out my raffle. My boy fill out his raffle. Boom. That's done. Then we get the punk ass motherfucking finish line, which I ain't never had problems with finish line. I always like the finish line. I have more I have more problems with Foot Locker than I have with finish line. So anyway, we get in there. You feel me? It's this manager up there, this Caucasian dude. You feel me? And he got a weird look on his face and shit. You feel me? So. Me and my boy get up there, I already got an eerie feeling, you know. So we get up there, I fill out for my size nine. My boy getting ready to start filling out for his, he gonna tell us, oh, y'all can't fill out for it. I hope y'all ain't filling out for the same size because y'all can't do that because we don't want people trying to scam and get multiple pair of shoes and this and that, blah, 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 blah. Well, so you telling me that just because y'all predicting, not pre matter of fact, it's not predicting, like, y'all stereotyping and accusing people of trying to get extra pair of shoes. So will somebody really do wear a size 9 so they going to miss out on their shit because y'all think they're trying to get extra shoes? Y'all see where I'm coming with this? So if we so if we really do got the both size shoe, he gonna miss, we, one of us going to miss out because you feel like we trying to scam. That's, I think that's bullshit and you're going to lose a lot of fucking customers over that and a lot of business because of that. So... Fuck champ. I mean, yeah, fuck finish line when it comes to that. I won't ever go back there again as long as that's there. So long story short, me and my boy, you know, I fill out for mines, boom. He tell him, you got to, uh, we got to uh, check your shoe size, your feet, to see if you can actually fit a size nine. Because if you don't, you can't fill out for the size nine. They do that. Of course, my dude wear eight and a half, but you people wear different sizes and different shoes. You feel me? My dude wear eight and a half, really, but he wear a size nine in Jordans for real, for real, for real, for real, even though he don't wear them. So we get to arguing with the dude. He arguing with the dude, like, dude, I wear a size nine. You know, why you making it so difficult to just give us the ticket? You feel me? So long story short, the dude just said, oh, all right, y'all go ahead for this time. I'll let y'all go ahead and fill out for the same size. But still, I think I feel like he threw my, my ticket away or something. And I still didn't get a call back from not one, sh one fucking... Store, so I might have to either do it online at Nike.com if I could win on there or wait in the line, you know, which I really don't like to do, but I might have to do that, you feel me, because of the fact of how these motherfuckers was acting in there over some fucking tickets. It ain't never that serious. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to bring you out that review fresh when everybody else doing it. And I want to do it brand new, you feel me? I got other shoes I can do reviews on, which I'm going to do that, but I feel like this shoe going to get a lot of views and it's like going to help me out some. So that's why I want to do that. And once again, I'm not trying to do no clickbait shit, but I want to just tell y'all to please smash the like button, subscribe, subscribe to my channel, please subscribe, because I'm growing a little bit, and just subscribe. Better content is going to come if y'all just subscribe.
But don't subscribe if you don't like my shit. I don't want people to just subscribe to my shit. Don't, if you don't like my shit, you, don't, you, you, you hating on me, don't subscribe. You feel me? Go to some other motherfucker. But if you like my content and like the way I come, subscribe. You feel me? But I don't know. For the people that do watch me, y'all comment. Let me know if y'all had the same scenarios in certain stores with these different rules and regulations and shit. If y'all do, comment down below. Let me know. Make sure to smash that like button. And subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I've been busy with work, so I'm still, like, I'll be tired and shit, I'm, which ain't no excuse. I still got to figure out, like, you know, how to manage that. You feel me? But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Let's, uh, you know, uh, you know, just stay tuned. You feel me? Uh, keep on watching my videos, and I'm going to keep on making content. You feel me? Doing what I can do. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I got a review for those coming up soon. Stay tuned for these uh, gold medal 11s. But yeah, man. You know these 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 people, bro. They they a trip nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Don't ask why I ain't got sheets and shit on my bed. I just changed them. You feel me? So. I'm I'm a real person. I got a life. You feel me? I ain't, I ain't like some of these other YouTubers. I ain't I ain't out here faking. You feel me? I, you know. But uh, yeah, man, it's just it's just crazy. One other thing I want to tell y'all. Don't ever let anybody tell y'all. You spending too much on shoes. You need to be doing this. You need priorities and blah 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 blah. blah. You spend your money on what the fuck you want to spend your money on. Shoes just got my fucking car fixed. I don't want to hear shit about what shoes do and how much money you spend on them. You feel me? You ain't smoking. I'm all about positivity. As long as you ain't smoking, drinking, and clubbing and getting killed, collect your shoes. It's, it ain't going to help hurt you. Just do it in a moderation and make sure you have your priorities first, your business first. But if you ain't got no no kids or nothing and all that, at a young age, spend your money on what the fuck you want to spend it on. Just be smart. You feel me? Because, see, shoes to me was a gateway to relief. See, shoes, for me, is a passion. It's really not about showing off. Of course, you're going to like it. You know, hear people say, oh, them dope, that's dope. But to me, shoes is more of a passion for me. It helped me when my dad passed away. It was something I could go to and forget about shit that I'm dealing with in life. You know, this is my therapy without seeing a doctor, a shrink. You know what I'm saying? I'm not crazy, but I'm just saying. This is this is what I like to do. Like, everybody got something they like to do. Some motherfuckers like porn. Some motherfuckers like chocolate candy bars. Some motherfuckers like sniffing drawers and shit. And, you know, mine's is these, these shoes. That's what I like to do. That's what I spend my money on. And I like movies a lot. You know what I'm saying? And I like the hoop and shit. But shoes is my passion. That's what I do. And I figure, like, I, I'm watching all these other YouTubers and watching them make videos and shit. So I was like, why not me? You feel me? Why not me? Why not, why not I start? And then if it, for, for people thinking, like, the shoe community or the sh sneaker YouTube stuff is dying, it's not dying, it's still rather I'ma still keep going hard no matter what, I'ma go hard. Shit ain't gonna come overnight, but I'ma keep grinding, you feel me? So shouts out to all the people that support me. Shouts out to my boy Mac, my boy Bishop, my nigga Caleb, my brother brother Caleb. Well he ain't my blood brother, but that's like my my, my bro for real. He, he he's always been there for me from day one. You know what I'm saying? I gotta throw Anthony in there, even though he didn't fucking lie and didn't want to, you know what I'm saying, take me, help me. But, you know, I, I look over him. He can't help it. He can't help it. You feel me? So, I look over him because he, he done shit. He, he, he didn't help them nigga out too a couple times. But I ain't gonna keep giving motherfuckers credit that's the plan me though. You feel me? At the same time, I keep a 100 on this shit. You know? And everybody that know me know I keep a 100. And, you know, niggas, niggas can't fuck with a 100 ass motherfucker like me for real. But I'm, but I'm about positivity. Guess what? They sound crazy, right? Guess what? I'm the only nigga that ain't that ain't smoke. Only nigga that ain't drunk. All these other niggas that's that's fucking, you know, claiming they doing this, they doing that, they good and all that. Them niggas doing everything under the fucking sun. They following after everybody else. Niggas that's real, that claim they followers, leaders and shit. They followers. No believe shit they got to say. <laughs> you feel me? Because they need a following. I don't. I, I stand on my own, too. You feel me? I don't need shit. You see, who, who in here with me? Look around. Look around. Who in here with me? 
no motherfucking body. I'm by my fucking self, and I'm always gonna be by myself. And like I said, niggas that fuck with me, gonna fuck with me. You feel me? So I tell all the young kids, mind my cussing, I'm cussing a little bit too much. Do what you want to do in life. Follow your dreams, follow your passions. And sometimes your parents can fuck you up too, trying to protect you. Do what you want to do, you feel me? Fuck with your, forget what everybody else say. Do what you want to do. And don't let no nobody influence you to do some stuff you don't want to do. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to blow a lot of money in life. You're going to do shit you, you, you ain't supposed to do, but you can always learn. As long as you learn, don't make the same mistake you find. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing about me, I, I'm a grind. You feel me? I'm a grind. I'm always going to be fresh. I'm always going to look good. No matter how broke I am, no matter how messed up I am, I'm always going to be that dude at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? And that's why people can't mess with me because I am I stay 100. I always stay 100. I don't follow nobody. Wait, you, you wear Jordan, that's fine. Somebody, you wear this, that's fine. Somebody, okay, motherfucker, if you say that, we ain't, we can't, I might ever run around butt naked because then I'll be following everything. We can't wear nothing. We can't go to Walmart. We can't do nothing. Then would you know what you're doing it for? That's all that matter. You know, to the and to these young kids, like I said once again, do what you think is right. Do what's passionate, what you like to do. Stay out the streets. Quit following people. Stay out them clubs. It's cool every now and then, but, but, but stay out them clubs and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And, and subscribe to my channel if you want to hear positivity and stuff and stuff like that. Subscribe to my channel. I, that's what I'm all about. I might cuss a little bit, but who ain't hearing cussing? <laughs> it's everywhere, even on cartoons now. You feel me? But you know, it's it's your boy Glass City, the only Glass City sneakerhead from Toledo, Ohio. Four one nine Mud Made Toledo raised me. The South Side raised me. Folds up, and I'm out.